People have been farming for about 10,000 years. And throughout most of that history, people's food came from nearby. It wasn't until more recently that farming became a truly large-scale operation. That change came around the same time as the Industrial Revolution, a period of time in Britain, Western Europe, and North America from about 1760 to 1840 where things started being mass-produced in factories. People moved into cities, and this meant that they needed to depend on others to produce their food. Luckily, the small garden has not disappeared, and we can still grow plants in our houses or outside of our houses, in containers and in the ground. Today, for our curiosity challenge, we'll be planting a garden. You will need soil, gardening containers, or a plot in which to plant, seeds, a watering can, a rake, a trowel, and, if you like, gardening gloves, poles, and string. Decide what kind of garden you want to grow. Flowers, vegetables, fruits, what kind, and for who? In containers or in the ground? Indoors or outdoors? Decide which plants you want to grow. Consider the climate where you live and what will grow well. How much work you want to put in. Native plants will need less care than non-native ones. And how much space you have. Prepare your soil. Loosen packed soil. Add new soil if needed. And add nutrients to the soil by mixing in compost. Plant your seeds according to the instructions on the package. Decide how many seeds to plant. You don't need to plant the whole package of seeds. If the seeds should be planted in rows, you can set up a string between stakes to help you keep your rows straight. Some seeds can be planted directly into the soil outdoors. Others need to be germinated indoors. Remember that certain plants will spread quickly, so unless you want a yard full of mint, plant it in a container. Keep the seed package in case you need to refer back to the information later. Water your garden and wait patiently for the seeds to sprout. The seed package will tell you how long it should take. We'd love to see your gardens as they grow, so please share them and your thoughts with us on socials at ROM Toronto using the hashtag ROM at Home.